So this is, um, that's awkward. Hello everyone, my name is Lisa and I'm the Beat Vegan because I'm Beat and I'm vegan. And today we're doing a makeup tutorial slash get ready with me slash I'm gonna put on makeup on my face and I'm gonna talk to you about cruelty free makeup. I thought I would go through my makeup collection, talk to you guys about what makes makeup not vegan. We're gonna have to deal with that today. And yeah, so here's my bare naked face. Actually, there's some moisturizer on my face. What makes makeup not vegan? So the first thing, which a lot of people probably know about, is um, the fact that most makeup is tested on animals. Now, that's changed a lot over the years. The bigger companies like L'Oreal, Maybelline, Revlon, all those companies test on animals. Generally, the rule is if it is sold in China, in mainland China, then they are required by law to test on animals. So any of those products are not cruelty-free and therefore not vegan. There's a difference between cruelty-free and vegan, of course. Cruelty-free means that they're just not tested on animals, but they may contain animal products like beeswax, carmine, mineral oil, etc. Milk sometimes, goat milk is sometimes used in uh, makeup. And vegan just means that there's no animal products and it's not tested on animals. I'm not an expert on cruelty-free makeup. I would highly recommend uh, these three channels. Carly by wait, fingers. Carly Bible, who I actually, <laughs> I have her palette and that's what I'll be using today because that's pretty much the only palette that I reliably and consistently use. She went vegan a couple years ago. She transitioned all of her makeup collection to cruelty-free, so now she does cruelty-free makeup. Um, it's not all vegan, but at the very least it's cruelty-free, which is incredible. If you want like a beauty guru who's like huge on YouTube, she has like six million or seven million subscribers, um, definitely check her out. She's also like a very beautiful person like inside and out, so like I really, I really wanted to support her. I bought both her original palette and the deluxe palette and then I gave Jess, who you might have seen in my sustainability video, um, I gave her my original palette and then I kept the deluxe palette because um, the deluxe palette has an extra row of goodies and some more highlighty type stuff. I also recommend Wife Life aka Rian HY. I don't know, sometimes her channel changes from being Wife Life to Rian HY. I think it's just Rian, whatever. Follow Rian and Tashina from Logical Harmony. They're both amazing beautiful, like low-key hilarious YouTubers. There's, their humor is often very subtle. Tashina's more like, I don't even know how to describe her like her vibe, but she's very like calm and peaceful and graceful. And then like Rianne is like a goofy, kind of weird, but like very hypnotic YouTuber, if that makes any sense. Those are the three that I recommend. I'll leave their links down below. You should definitely check them out if you haven't already. Um, and they are the three people who mostly have taught me what I know about makeup. So if you want a list of what brands are vegan, what aren't vegan, what products are vegan and not vegan, um, I highly recommend Logical Harmony's cruelty-free list. I'll leave it linked down below. Logical Harmony's like list of whether or not they're cruelty-free or not cruelty-free is like the most up-to-date that I can uh, offer to you. Okay, let's put on makeup on my face. So first I'm using the Veil Mineral Primer, which is oil-free um, and it's also vegan. They also list all the ingredients on their site for what's vegan and what's not vegan. Over time, you'll kind of learn. So unlike with food labeling, if it says may contain, it usually means that it doesn't have it. It just is uh, made on the same sort of like equipment that has animal products. But in may contain in makeup products mean that one of the many things contains carmine. So it means that like the whole palette may contain it somewhere. But if it says may contain on a makeup palette, it definitely has carmine or whatever ingredient is listed in that may contain in there somewhere. So anyway, I'm gonna put makeup on my face now. So this is the mineral primer. Basically what this does is it creates a base um, on my face that is better for applying makeup. Just to reiterate, I am not a makeup guru. I don't really know what I'm doing half the time, um, but I do put on makeup pretty regularly for videos. So I was never really a makeup primer person. I was like, what's the point? You can't see it. It doesn't really make a difference until I got this primer. I had uh, the e.l.f. primer before. I don't really feel like it did that much um, for me, the e.l.f. primer, but holy crap, this primer makes my makeup stay on literally all day. It's expensive, this primer that I got specifically, but I got this so that I could wear this for my wedding because um, I'm doing my own makeup. This stuff is like the base layer, the primer. The, like, I mean, when you're like painting a house, you know, you gotta have the prime, the, the base coat, the primer, you know, to make other stuff stick. That's what this is. It's expensive, but it's worth it for me. What I'm gonna do next is I'm going to add my foundation. Now this is the Fenty Beauty Foundation in the color shade 
210. Like my skin type is like combo oily with random dry patches. Matte foundations last longest for me because I don't just like sweat or like I don't just like lose the, the foundation over time because I have pretty oily skin. So I usually do about two pumps on my hand and then I dab it on my face and then I blend it out with a beauty blender. Let's do that. I also usually wear a headband for this or tie my hair back, but I didn't do that today because I'm a fool. This is a good look, guys. So I'm using a beauty blender. I can leave all these products linked down below as well if you guys want them, but I just kind of dab it in my face and it looks light at first, but it'll oxidize and it'll get darker. I've been told that this works better with a brush applicator, but I find actually for my skin, it looks better when I use the beauty blender. This is making me very acutely aware that I need to uh, take care of my little mustache. Not to shame body hair. I personally don't like my own mustache hair business, but I'm also really lazy, so I haven't gone to get it waxed or sugared in a long time. I actually don't even know if waxing is vegan. I haven't waxed since I, got, since I went vegan. My aunt does it for me sometimes and she waxes, but she just has that anyway. I know sugaring is vegan, so I've, I've done sugaring before and it's like, it's all right. It's not as painful as waxes. So I actually have two concealers, one that I like a lot more and one that I don't like, probably because this one is not the right color. This one is close to my skin tone, whereas this one is closer, is like a little bit lighter than my skin tone. I can swatch them for you, huh? Eh? Who's a beauty guru now, guys? Although, both are quite yellow. So the bottom one is the e.l.f. one. It's a little bit darker. Uh, and the top one is the Pure Cosmetics. So this one is e.l.f. in the color light. And this one is from Pure Cosmetics Disappearing Ink Concealer in the color light tan. So I'm gonna use the top one because it's lighter. You know what? This could also be the wrong color completely, but we're here now. I don't even have like very noticeable bags, I don't think, but I'm still using it. So I'm going to take this Laura Mercier translucent powder in the color translucent. They have a darker one too, I'm pretty sure. I just tend to put it on my beauty blender and just kind of dab underneath. I think this is what they call baking. I don't claim to know what I'm doing. And this actually helps my make makeup stay on my face a lot more. And I actually do it like here too. And there we go. Um, I'm gonna brush a lot of that away momentarily, but in the meantime, we'll do my eyebrows and maybe I'll zoom in more for this cause I mean, why not? We are a little bit closer to my face. So I use the Anastasia Beverly Hills brow pomade stuff. This is actually a new pot, so it's like pretty new, although it's already starting to dry up around the edges. I use it in the color Ash Brown. So like my skin coloring is like a little weird from most Asians. Unlike the racial stereotype, not all Asians are yellow. I do have a bit of a yellow tint to my skin, but I'm actually like more neutral slash cool tone than I am warm tone. Anyway, so I'm gonna put on some brow product. So I use a um, makeup brush. This is from Sephora. This is before I was like, vegan, but there are vegan brushes out there. The only thing that's not vegan about this brush is the fact that Sephora tests on animals. Fill in my eyebrows really badly because one is higher than the other. I also only started filling in my eyebrows like three years ago, four years ago. It was a relatively new addition to my makeup routine. Oh, I f***ed up. <laughs> uh, every time. So I have a cowlick in this eyebrow right here, but I don't have that here. And it's pretty annoying sometimes. At some points I just kind of give up and I'm just like, you know what, this is fine. But this is, this is not fine, hold on. I'm gonna use some concealer to just kind of like cover up that little dark patch. There we go. That's better. And then I use a spoolie. This is from BH Cosmetics. Oh God, oh God, everything's happening. You just kind of brush out the hairs to make it a little bit more natural looking instead of just like, here are straight lines that I drew on my face. 
The great thing about makeup is you can just wash it off and do it again if you really want to. Also, you can also just choose not to leave your house or you can just do what you wanna do and just like rock it, you know? So these are my makeup brushes. The ones with the pink handles here, these are from BH Cosmetics. They're okay. And then the ones with the silver handles here are from Sigma, and then these ones are from The Real Techniques. These are really expensive, but they're also my nicest brushes. These are in between. These are quite nice. And then these ones are my cheapest ones. They're okay. Um, when it comes to makeup brushes, you wanna make sure that they're not made out of animal fiber. So sometimes animal hairs, oh my God, I just like released a dusting of like, translucent powder all over the place. The BH Cosmetic ones are pretty cheap. They're pretty affordable. A lot of them are vegan friendly, um, that, which means that they're made out of synthetic fibers instead of animal hair. I also have a couple from Furless. Furless, BH Cosmetics, both cruelty free. These are all cruelty free, um, but some of them have um, animal hairs. I mean, I don't have those ones, but they exist from the, these companies. So just buy the, you know, the vegan ones. I got the Sigma ones on sale at Winners. They were like on discount there. So they were like significantly cheaper. I'm gonna dip into my Carly Bible palette here. I generally stick to the sort of neutral colors and the purple. What I generally do is I take this brush and I dip it in this neutral-ish color and then I put it on in my general eyelid area. I think this is what they call a crease. This one is a double-lidded eye and this one is a mono-lidded eye. So I have to put on makeup so that they match, even though they're different kinds of eyes. That looks adequate, okay. And then I take a slightly darker color, generally this purple here, or this gray. Sometimes I, I usually go for the purple. Today I'm feeling purple. Just kind of dab, dab, tap, tap, and then I put it on the outer V edge thing. These are not equal. All right, and then I also put it on my under eye. And then I take the brush that I use for this color and I just kind of blend them. Oh my God, a palette just fell out. One of the pans just came out. I don't put any extra product, but the brush that I use this one on, I'll just take this and blend those colors together until they sort of like look okay. I'm pretty happy with this. Sure. And then what I do is I take another BH brush and I dip it into one of these lighter colors and I put it on the inside for funsies. So I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do this one. Okay. And then sometimes I take a different color that's like slightly lighter and then I put it on the bottom inner corner. But that's if you're feeling extra. Um, I'm also gonna brush away any of the excess um, translucent powder that I had here. And now I put on eyeliner. So I generally use this um, felt tip Stila eyeliner. I've been using this for like two years now, I think. This is my secret to a good wing tip. Um, I use felt liners. It applies the best, it stays the best. This stuff is like life proof, y'all. It stays on your eye forever, it's so good. And so because this is a double lid and this is a, a mono lid, I have to apply the eyeliner slightly differently. This one I have to like point up more and this one I have to point like this way more. And then I just gotta make sure that they are even. That's the eye makeup. I also don't put on mascara because I hate mascara. I have tiny nubby eyelashes and so I just don't even bother, but if I do put on the mascara, it is the Pacifica Dream Big Natural Beauty Mascara. So now I'm gonna put on the rest of the facey bits. So I use the Petra by Pixi bronzer. I used to use the Too Faced one, but then they got bought up by, I think it was Estee Lauder, and then I was like, do I wanna support Estee Lauder? I don't know. Um, but they're only a parent company, so like Too Faced is still cruelty free um, with lots of vegan products, so if you use Too Faced, whatever you do you. I know that Pixie by Petra, who is another YouTuber, I'm pretty sure, makes these all cruelty free and all vegan, so. This is the bronzer, it's in the shade Summertime. It's a little glimmery, but that's okay. And so I'm using the Sigma brush, the F04 brush, and then I just sort of put it under my cheekbone and then on, slightly on my jawline with whatever's left on the brush. I'm gonna blend that out a little bit more actually. 
And then I usually use these two blushes. If I'm feeling a little sparkly and I don't want to put on a lot of highlighter, I use this one because this one has highlighter in it. If I just want a more like general matte look, then this is the blush that I use. So this is a cream blush. This is a, a powder, a pressed powder blush. I just kind of dab it with my fingers. I actually, I think I grabbed too much product. Let me just dab some off on my, my hand. And I just kind of smile and pat my face. And then I'm gonna put on highlight for funsies. I generally use this one. This is the rose gold one, I'm pretty sure. I don't have the label, whatever this one is. It's like a rose gold highlight. And then I just put it on my face. I don't know what I'm doing. And then let's put on a little bit of lip color just for funsies. I got these for free. It's cruelty free, but it's not vegan. This has beeswax and carmine in it. So it has crushed up beetles and beeswax. I got it for free from like my birthday Sephora thing. Cause the other choice was, I can't remember what the choice was for the second one, but it wasn't vegan or it wasn't cruelty free. So I was like, well, I know the Bite Beauty one is cruelty free. So I went with this one. I don't usually wear lipstick that much. The times that I do wear lipstick, I usually wear this liquid lipstick from Anastasia and Beverly Hills. This is the dark one that I usually wear. I can swatch it on my hand for you guys to see the color. You guys will recognize it. I wear this a lot in my videos, but this is vegan and cruelty-free. Bite Beauty is not vegan. Well, not all of their things are vegan. This one, I know for sure this one has beeswax and carmine in it, so it's not technically vegan, um, but it is cruelty-free. So I'm not perfect. Uh, I didn't realize I was put on the spot, so I got this one, but it's too late now, so we're here. And then I use this uh, setting spray from Urban Decay. Um, I'm running a little low on it. There's not much left, so. This is the finished makeup look. This is generally what I wear on my face. Now, um, whether or not you're vegan, whether or not you're cruelty free, or you're just you know here because you found me somehow, I don't know how you found me. The thing is like switching your makeup to cruelty free and vegan, it's expensive, it takes time, especially if you have like an established uh, makeup set that you already are working with. So use all the makeup that you have, don't just throw it away, that's like really wasteful. Make an effort to pick up products that you want that are cruelty free or and are vegan. Consult Logical Harmony because they have a huge list of different stuff and the tutorials from Logical Harmony and uh, Rianne and uh, Carly Bible are always going to be cruelty free if that's something that you want to see, get inspiration from, that kind of stuff. I am not an expert. I don't know what I'm doing. This is literally the only look I know how to do. A bunch of you guys were asking, and like I said, like I'm not a perfect vegan. I'm gonna assume a lot of you guys are probably better vegans than I am or more perfect than I am. And you know, you just gotta do your best. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know if you have any questions. I'll leave all the links for the products I use down below as well as links to experts who know a lot more about makeup than I do. That's this look, I hope you liked it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, leave a like, comment down below. Do you have a cruelty-free makeup collection? Do you have a vegan makeup collection? If you do, if you don't, Feel free to sound off down below. I would love to hear your comments. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope you guys have a delicious day. Bye. Hello, everyone. <laughs> My hands are wet, so I just flung water across the room. Hold on. I gotta rebutton this because sometimes this shirt um, unbuttons itself for absolutely no reason. Like this, what is even the point of this? If anything, put it on this side so that when I roll up the sleeve, it does it. But this is like right where the slit is, so like it's not securing anything. It's bullshit. Is this is this working? How do people do this? God. Oh God, wrong button. This one, is it? This one. Is it?